What you guys got another Windows bug video here for you. This is the latest news uh, on Windows 10 bugs. The Jonas L on Twitter posted the NTFS vulnerability critically underestimated. There is a specially nasty vulnerability in NTFS right now that triggered by opening special crafted name in any folder anywhere on Windows 10. The vulnerability will instant pop up complaining about your hard drive is corrupt. Uh, when the path is open. Now, Bleepy Compute has done a full article on it, which I will leave the link in the video description for you so you can have a good read about it. It's basically Windows 10 bug corrupts your hard drive on seeing the file icon. And uh, if you read the article, you'll get an understanding of basically what actually happens, which I'll show you what happens in a second in a virtual machine. But there's also articles on Microsoft themselves, Windows 10 bug that can corrupt hard drives and also SSD, which is a very worrying thing. Basically, this has been around since 1803, and it's now been published that it actually works on Windows XP as well. So I'm going to open up a command prompt here and put a command in here. And uh, this is also uh, going to be able to deliver inside hidden Windows shortcut files like zip archives, batch files, and other various other types of files that can trigger these hard drive errors and corrupt the file system index instantly. So you've got to be very, very careful uh, when running this. Do not run this on your main system because it will completely mess up your system and you would end up losing all of your data. So I've run that command there and I'm going to restart the system here. You'll see on boot up, it will start to boot up Windows as normal and then you'll get this once to check for errors on the bottom of the screen here. This is where it starts to check your uh, system here. So let this uh, come up and we'll take a look what happens. Now we all know Windows 10 is full of bugs and they still haven't fixed the uh, defragging of an SSD, which is a big no-no. That problem still uh, is plaguing Windows 10 users. But you can see here now, it wants to do a disk checking on this system and that's by just running that code, which is another big problem here. And this bug's been around uh, since 1803. So it also works on Windows XP, which is very, very scary uh, to think that this has been around that long and someone's actually found it and uh, now publicized it. So you're going to probably see loads of YouTube channels uh, publicizing this and also loads of websites talking about this because it is quite a bad thing to happen. So it's now starting to check the disk and eventually what will happen is it will reboot and you will end up uh, with problems. So you can see here, scanning and repairing the drive, 100% complete, and it will reboot. And then once it starts to load up, you get the green screen saying stop code, NTFS file system. And that's basically what's going to happen there. Now, I still don't know why this happens. Um, I think a lot of people are dumbfounded to what's going on here and why uh, this literally happens on the system. It shouldn't happen. And it's just another one of those bugs that we have to deal with with Windows 10. Unfortunately, there is tons of bugs with Windows 10, and one of them is still that SSD problem where it's uh, trying to defrag SSDs. That problem still exists, which is a real big pain for a lot of people. And of course, this is another one. And they're starting to rack up some of these bigger, more serious uh, problems with Windows 10. Now, Windows 10 is probably the best operating system they've actually released to date, but it's probably also one of the most buggiest Unfortunately, some of these bugs are pretty serious like this one and also some of the other ones that they've had previously. So hopefully they can pull their finger out and start to resolve a lot of these problems because it's starting to get really, really painful uh, using Windows 10 and you have to keep updating all the time. And you, every time you update, you get problems, whether it be audio, network or any other type of problem that Windows 10 has. It seems to have an array of different problems. And when they fix some of them, more show themselves so it's just a, a continual problem and plus with all the telemetry and the privacy concerns it's just getting a little bit too much anyway i think that's going to be about it my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk be careful with what you run out there just in case it's got this code in it bye for now